Hey everybody, so today we're going to go through some software that I, uh, in this series of cabinet building that I use to help me figure out how many sheets I need, the sizes of them, how I'm cutting them out, uh, the layout of the kitchen, uh, and help in the planning process before we ever get to the shop. So it's called Cabinet Planner. Um, I bought it online. They're about $70. And I think it's Based on, it, I think this has been around a little while. I did look around for quite a bit for some different um, softwares out there to try for something that was economical that would still do the job that I wanted to. And like a lot of the different CAD softwares are set up for walls and landscaping and really doesn't lend itself to cabinets. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a breakdown of all my parts and sizing on that. Uh, most of the time when you get into that, there's a bunch of them down, out there that you can spend hundreds of dollars a month and more to get to that. And I didn't want to do that. I don't do enough kitchens that it can just I can justify that kind of cost. So, and most people can't. So this I think again is a it's a relatively inexpensive piece of software at about seventy bucks. Um, I think it's got a, good, a lot of good features. It's kind of, uh, it doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, I would say, but it's got enough in there that I think it'll work for most people. So let's j look at that. Um, we'll dive into it, kind of go through a, a quick little layout of the kitchen, and then we'll go from there. All right, so we've got Cabinet Planner open now. We're going to go ahead and start a new file. After we've got that, then we're going to go ahead and set up our walls. So we've got wall length of, let's do 144 inches. So this, I'm doing it in inches now, but generally I will work in, uh, go ahead and update that, save and close. Generally I want to work in millimeters, uh, but for most people they still work, work in inches. Uh, with the European style I like to work in millimeters, and actually we'll switch back and forth sometimes. but. Um, that's a decision you'll need to make. So we can look at this a couple of different ways. There's our 12 foot wall, 144 inches in the plan view. And then if we go to elevation view, there's that. So I generally work in elevation view. And so first thing we want to do is I generally do my lowers first is, well, let's just do a simple uh, plane base. And we'll start on this wall and just drag and drop. And we're going to want to do, I want to do an 18 inch wide. So we put in the dimensions, we do OK and save. And there's a one door, one drawer base. And I think next to that, we're going to do another, let's do, let's do a drawer base. So we'll do a three drawer base next to that. So we've got, and that, let's do another 18. We'll save that. So now we've got 18, so we've got 36 inches. We've got 108 inches left in our wall. I think the next thing we'll do is we're going to go ahead and... All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a appliance, start with our appliances. So we've got a dishwasher we want to put in next to this. And that'll be a 24 inch dishwasher. Do OK and save. Next to that, we will want to do another lower cabinet. We're going to do our sink base. We'll do 36 inches for our sink base. Do OK and save. Oh, it went 26, so I want to go back. So that I want at 36 inches. OK and save. Now we've got 30x. So we've got 48 inches left. So we've got the Two 18s is 36, the 24, another 36. We got 48 inches. So I think we'll do a couple of two foot cabinets in there. So we'll do another lower. Let's do a, th let's do another three drawer. 
Actually, I want to do an 18 in there. So let's do an 18. Do OK and save. So that gives us 30 inches. So I think the last one we'll do is a lower two drawer or two door, one drawer. And that's going to be 30 inches. Do OK and save. Now we've got our full cap bank of cabinets. So now that we got our lowers done, we can go into our uppers. And the first one is going to be a one opening. It's a one door opening. Drag and drop. That'll be an 18 to match our lower. Our location is zero, not minus one because it stopped off the side. And we'll save that. Then our next one is going to be the same, so another one opening. 18. Save that. Then we'll do a, another upper, but we're going to do two openings on this one. So 24. Save. Now one of the things I'm realizing here is I'm setting all these up and this is not the door style I want it to do. So I can go back into each one of these and let's do our sink base first. I can change this. I want to change it to a different style. So I do OK and save. And that gets into a more traditional style door. And I'll go into each one of these and I'll go ahead and change those. I've changed the cabinet doors to the ones I want. Um, I will have to the rest of the, the next three cabinets to fill this out. I will have to go and change those. So we go up to uppers. I want to do a two opening uh, drawer. We'll come into here. We're going to make this a 36 to match our sink base. We're going to make it 20 inches high, or excuse me, 10 inches high, and we need our location off the floor to be 80 inches, uh, 78 inches, and we change our type to 14. We'll do OK and save. Now our next cabinet is going to be another 18, so we'll do a one opening 18 inch cabinet, starting right there, 18 inches, do OK, save, Didn't I need to go back and change that door style, OK and save, we got one last cabinet, so let's go ahead and add a two opening. And this is going to be 30 inch type 14, which is our normal uh, shaker style door, 30 inches, and we'll save. And that is a little bit off, so I need to go back in here and change my location to 114. Do OK. Save. There we go. So there's all of our cabinets. We've got a total of 11 cabinets. We count up 12 because the dishwasher does count as one uh, in, in our layout. So we've got 12 openings. So now that we've got that, if we go into our uh, plan view, you can see looking down at them, you can see where all of them are. The dishwasher is a different color, which helps out. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six uppers and five lowers. Now we go up to the calculation window and what we want to do is we want to go our box frame, box material panel layout and we, we're going to be working with melamine on this one. So melamine is 97 inches by 49 inches.
we can set up whatever saw curfew you would like on that. And then we'll just do a nested parts and we'll do type one. So here's what our parts are going to look like. We're going to have, they print out two panels per sheet. So we've got on panel one, we've got, what is it? We've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces, or excuse me, eight pieces on the first one, seven pieces on the second one, and then more pieces. Here's a sheet three, there's sheet four, and then the last one is sheet five. So we got five sheets. These print out on the page two panels per page. Uh, so we end up with, we'll end up with three sheets of paper, but we're going to end up with five total panels. And that's going to be all of our tops and bottoms, our sides, our toe kicks and stretchers for um, all the cabinets, and a layout on the, the uh, each panel. So now we know our panel layout, we need to go out and I want to print labels. So we go up to the label printer and I typically do the 80 sheet, 80 labels per label per sheet. And if I go to print box part labels, it'll bring those up. And my printer's offline, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's select a printer. We're just going to print to PDF. All right. So here's our printout for our labels. So they will go through. It's going to tell me what size each panel or which piece is, what it's made out of, and what cabinet it fits in and what part of that cabinet is. So, all right. A couple other things I want to do before quickly wrapping this up is talk about some of the other things that we can do. So we just kind of went through the, what our main boxes are, but when we do under our calculations, we can do, if we want to do, if we're doing face frame style cabinets, this will allow us to do that. And it'll give us all our parts, panel layout for all of that. Also with our doors and uh, the drawers, and it'll give you all the, the sizes for the front, the backs, the bottoms, and you can dictate what kind of material you want to put in that. Whether it's solid surface or solid material, or if you're going to be using sheet goods, you can do that. Your back, same thing. You can uh, get either a master list, or you can get a panel layout for your backs, uh, and also do the the printing of those. It does uh, we'll close that up. It does do a little bit of a 3D uh, work too, so you can. You know, move your cameras up and down. You can move left to right. Um, you can rotate the it around if you're, you know, wanting to play with that and get a better idea of what it might look like. That's helpful. And it'll do the whole plan. So right now we just did the one wall, but you can see uh, we've got our basic layout. One of the things like on these cabinet doors is that set. You can set your hardware. So like this one, put all the hardware at the top. Um, I would move those down here, but you can go into the settings and change that. Uh, like this cabinet here, I would generally have this probably on the other side. Uh, but you can, in, within the software, you can uh, go ahead and do those changes and move forward. So, um, All right, so that was just a quick little kitchen. We did um, 11 cabinets on a 12-foot wall, but we got all of our bark box parts. Um, for this frame style cabinet and but you could do this 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 software you could use for frame cabinets you can do it metric you can do it in um, Imperial I will switch back and forth um, just because a 32 millimeter system works a little bit easier um, in millimeters you can convert it just as we go along in this process um, I think it'll make more sense um, why it um, dealing with the millimeters to, for layout is makes more sense. So, 
Um, so yeah, hope you got something out of that. Um, uh, next video is going to be out in the shop. We're going to start cutting up our, our panels, start doing some layout, and then uh, figure out how to do that, and then move forward into the edge banding, uh, the hole drilling, the assembly, and uh, hardwares and stuff like that. So hope you enjoyed this, got something out of it, and uh, have a great day.